hour of service. We're back here at Robinson Dresser Sports Complex. The softball team's getting warmed up for their final home uh, weekend series as they host Evansville. It'll be probably a little emotional with that senior weekend and the fact that you uh, have been with this group. It's not a huge class, but but really some, some special players in that group. Yeah, they've all put in a lot of work and a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice for the program. And uh, we want to make sure that we take that opportunity to recognize them, not only for how they are as a softball player, but who they are as people and how they've developed as people in their time here in our program. And just to see the growth that they've made um, in their development as, as humans couple championships from this group and dealing with the pandemic and just a lot in the last four or five years. Really, I mean, coming off of the pandemic where everybody was kind of in scramble mode, nobody knew what to do and how to handle it. It kind of, you know, pulled the plug on a season where, where we were kind of going in a bad direction. And and our group really rebounded and, and responded in a, in a great way. They didn't let that affect them. They didn't let that affect them going forward. They kind of took it as a a reset and let's go to go back to work and, and get our minds right and and they've done that and coming out of COVID we've really done a good job with it. You talked about Addie McElrath uh, briefly but the jump she made just batting average alone from last year to this year it, in the mid 400s has just been incredible. Yeah you talk about work ethic and, and it paying off and, and not knowing when it's going to pay off. You know going into the season we knew that she had talent we knew that she had, had upped her game from a hitter, hitter standpoint. Uh, her metrics were improving all those factors were, were right there we put her in that pinch hit role and every opportunity she got it was just like whoa whoa all right and you could just tell she was paying attention to the game she was watching what was going on and she had a plan when she went in for those pinch hit uh, opportunities and just put us in a spot where she just put enough of those together where it was like all right we gotta we gotta find a spot for her in the lineup and when she got in she took it to another level and and uh, really made our lineup solid one through nine. Numbers speak for themselves. We have a story now on Brooke Snyder and just uh, why, why is she a special student athlete here? Well, Brooke came in here with a great worker's mentality. I mean, you talk about, uh, some people would say, you know, it looks easy for Brooke. It's not, it's something that she has to really work at. Uh, it was something that she came into a, an environment that was completely different than the one she was before, where it was kind of a do it on your own um, mentality and, and now she's really adapted to the the coaching and the philosophy and you're really seeing that now um, more than ever in the last eight games she's just been an unbelievable force offensively for us taking her walks which is something she wasn't doing before seeing sort of some power numbers but just being a great great player for us right now coming off a big weekend here's a story on Brooke Snyder